Recording live from the Northeast Georgia Business Radio X studio, this is Northeast Georgia Business Radio. Welcome, folks. I'm your host, Tom Sheldon, recording live from the beautiful Empower College and Career Center of Jackson County. I have with me today Hart Fandrich of Piedmont Injury Massage. Hello, Hart. Good morning. How there, are you? There you are. I'm great. I'm great. Now, I was going to just say, here's Hart, but I, I, and I got a lot of 80s friends, a lot of, a lot of 80s friends, 80s rockers. Like, oh my goodness, he has Hart. But you actually have a last name. I do. You're not just Hart, even though everyone knows you as Hart. Pretty much, yep. She has a last name, really? Are you Are you serious? Serious. But you do. I do. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Well, welcome to the studio. Well, thank you for having me here. It is always a pleasure to have you. We actually met at a networking event in Houston. Coffee and... Conversation. Session. Conversation or sessions. I don't know. I've... It well, you and I had a conversation. That's all that mattered. Yes. <laughs> so there was at least one, right? Yeah. Now, your uh, your place of business was where we were at. It was a combination between David Foster, who does um, insur- our life insurance, and myself, because I'm a 900-square-foot business, and it was just too small because there was like 15, 20 people there. Oh, goodness, goodness. And your business is Piedmont Injury Massage. Yes. I, I'm sorry, go ahead. I s- did it because I specialize in muscle recovery. That includes sprains, strains, tears, and post and pre-op surgery. So I get people to feel better, look better, move better without narcotics. But you're not just a massage therapist. You are at, you're doing some very serious work here. I'm doing very serious mass work. It's, it's recovery. It is. It's not just the, uh, and I, well, okay, I won't say it. It's not just someone trying to escape their hard day or their hard week. It's so much more than that. Very much so. You're repairing bodies mm-hmm. through massage. Yes. Nice, 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 nice. And, and you, you mentioned without uh, drugs, opioids, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And that's awesome. It is. I mean, I believe in trying to stay as natural as possible. Um, That's important. I like that. Kind of having the best of your body and kind of getting fixed and without being dependent on other things. Growing a dependency. Yes. Repairing naturally. Yeah, Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. How in the world did you end up in Houston, Georgia, Jackson County? I lost a dart game. Did you really? (laughs) I did. Well, at least, you know, at least they weren't throwing the dart. Or maybe they were throwing the darts at you. I don't know. Elaborate, please. Okay. This is great radio. (laughs) My husband was in the military. He got out. We were in Kansas. Lesson for that. Yeah. Uh, We were in Kansas, Manhattan, Kansas, called the Little Apple. And we could go anywhere in the United States that we wanted to go. And we basically did a whole month of a dart game. He got 12 selections, and I got 12 selections, and we battled it out through a dart game. I lost. Hart, you're not in Kansas anymore. I, I had to. I had to. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. How does, how does Houston, Georgia, though, come up in any conversation if you're standing anywhere in Kansas? My brother is. Other than an awesome recording studio. <laughs> I mean, obviously. My brother is in North Hall, and okay. my cousin is in Cumming, and I have an aunt in Haversham County. So we're like, we moved here with no job, no nothing, and we just made it work. Now, how long have you been doing the massage, the therapy work? Seven years. Seven years. So you started when you were like six or something? Close. Nine. Nine. You can drive. I saw you drive in. I did drive in. So nine. Oh, that's okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh what kind of journey was that to get to this point? And I'm not talking about just moving from Kansas, but I, you obviously have some type of education. You just didn't buy us some white clothes, blue clothes, and, and hang a sign on a door. No. In the state of Georgia, you have to be licensed. So you actually have to take a state license test okay. and pass that first. And then you have to keep it up, which is every two years, you have to have 24 hours minimum of continuing education. Continuing ed. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I've had state licenses before. I understand how all that works. It's good, it's good and, and sometimes painful at the same time, but no, no, no puns intended there. Yeah. 
And wh- wh- how long is that process, though? A few weeks? Months? Months. Um, for aesthetics, it's a year-long program. You are an esthetician as well. I am an esthetician as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, that's a year-long program. Massage can be anywhere from 500 hours, which is about four months, to up to 1,000 hours, which is six months, now, you depending work, on the program. Do you work under someone? you apprentice? You can, Maybe that's not the right word. That is the correct word. Oh, is it? Wow. You cannot be apprentice for a massage therapist here. You cannot work on under anybody's license for well, massage. No, I, I understand that part, but <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. It is springtime in Georgia, folks. But do you have to have so many hours? I guess is it supervised? Uh, so you're in a classroom setting. Oh, it's all classroom. It's in a classroom. Oh, okay, okay. Um, and you do the book work, and then they have what's called practicum, where you work on live people, and you have to do about a hundred of them before you can graduate. Wow. Then you take the state test. I figure by then, if you don't have it, you, you're just not going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> Take it four or five times. No, I'm just kidding. Nope. I'm kidding. Um, I got off track a little bit. Now, you mes- you mentioned you're also an esthetician. How long have you been doing that? Seven years also. Okay, I got you. You, you got involved with it. Uh, I was doing double schooling at once. Well, that's, that's smart. That's smart to do. No, I, that's great. Uh, what it, What is a cosmetic spa facial? You, you mentioned in your, your uh, company information what the cosmetic spa facial is. I saw that. That jumped off the page at me. So what a cosmetic spa facial is, is basically trying to do surface layer corrections. So it's cosmetic. Nothing very deep, but cosmetic okay. on the surface layer. So texture, resurfacing, diminishing pores, like lighten or brighten pigmentation, or reduce... Um, redness from acne or scarring from acne. Gotcha, gotcha. And, that, and that's unfortunately what probably a lot of people envision massage, uh, stress relief, and even even uh, to, to look better cosmetically. But now the, the what I deem the important stuff, forgive me for deeming that, the injury massage, the recovery, uh, getting better. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Because that, that is something not many people realize. It's needed. I would think it is. Yes. Giving the body its opportunity to repair itself. Yeah. and then Tell me about that. Well, first and foremost, there's 6,100 and some change massage therapists in the state of Georgia. Sure. That's it. Um, and all of us don't have the same education. All of us, some people have more than I, some people have less than I. Okay. Um, but I geared mine toward fixing people. Good. Um, I saw what brutal surgery for old heart surgery was when they ripped open the rib cage right and saw my dad just struggle with it and went i want to help him and all they did back in the 80s and 90s was here's a drug yeah um and then fast forward a few years my mom got cancer and she was not allowed to get a massage because that's part of a specialized massage which i do have of how to correctly massage those people. Now, it's never going to be a deep tissue, and that's what not recovery is. It's not always deep tissue. It can be very light or it can be very heavy depending on the circumstances that the person comes in with. I got you. I got you. So this hits pretty deep. This hits home with you. It does. This isn't something you just decided on a ride from Kansas to Houston, Georgia. No. No. You know, that's what that's what I wanted to get to. Okay. And that's pretty cool. You've seen it up close, and you want to help people. I have. And well, well okay. Tell us, but tell us some. So you, I know you have stories. Leave the names out or change them creatively. Oh, my favorite one. Um, I have somebody who's a server. Like a restaurant. Restaurant server. Okay. And she, because of her job and everything else, and carrying those heavy trays. She has really done a number on her shoulder. I bet. And she's like coming in and saying, I, I can't lift my shoulder. It was basically frozen shoulder, undiagnosed. And we worked on the adhesions and everything else. And she was able to get back to her job and performing it. And all within about a week. And basically not missing a beat. And that's important for her. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, I bet. 
So was she in pain? Oh, yeah. she couldn't lift her arm. Oh. So so she's back. She has full range of motion. Full range of motion. No surgeries. No surgeries. No painkillers. No painkillers. Just your magic hands. Just my magic hands. That's awesome. And some ice. And some ice. Well, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, well, that's awesome. And another one that I really love was somebody I worked on his wife, and he was just like, no, no, for about two years. And he finally came in. And hugged me. It's like, I'm so sorry it took me two years to get on your table. Oh, wow. And I can stand up straight. He is off of narcotics. Nice. And I see him every month now. Because I fix you doesn't mean you're permanently fixed. No, no, I understand that. It just means you can function better, but you're prone to breaking again. So sure. you have to do maintenance. Well, yeah, yeah. You know, the, the old body can only take so much beating. Yes, and sometimes we don't know that until we're way out of shape, I guess. Well, that's awesome. And you've done that right here in town. I'm in downtown Houston, yes. Yeah. Um, right by the police station. Um, they are my neighbors. I can knock on the wall. So no shenanigans at Hart's Place. That's all I know. No, no shenanigans. No shenanigans. So I think I know the, 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 I think I know the answer to this question. What is the definitive difference between Piedmont Injury Massage, your massage location, and just other spas? Uh, the specialization. Okay. So think of a massage kind of like a tree. Massage is the trunk of the tree. Okay. And then there's branches on that tree. I picked one of those branches that are basically to help fix people through different modalities and that I want the puzzle. Now, on the, another branch, it could be relaxation. On another branch, it could be um, lymphatic. On another one, can be mobile, where it just comes to you. I wanted that puzzle, and I love that puzzle to see how the body moves. So it's not cookie cutter? It is not cookie cutter at all. It's a challenge with each client, each, do you call them clients? Patient. I call, I call them guest. Guest. I, I like that. I like guest. Yeah, I don't like patient. No. Too formal. That's too yeah, too medical. So it it it, it was uh, what what was that again? Lymphotic? Lymph I can't say lymphatic. That lymphatic. I do have that underneath my t or my toolbox. It's a very gentle massage that is there to detox and get the ex extra fluid out of your body. Right. The the detoxing. Yeah. The junk. Get the junk. It is a you. slow, light massage. It puts a hundred people to sleep. Really? Yes. Wow. Well, I'll see you about 9.30 tonight. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Actually, you just prop me up in a corner and I'll fall asleep. That, that's never a problem. What were some of the other ones, though? Um, I have myofascial release. What in the world is that? That's a big word. <laughs> it is a big word. So we have what's called flat fascia in our bodies. So most people have heard plantar fasciitis. Yes. However, the fascia is throughout the whole body. There's three different layers. There's deep, medium, and superficial. Is that tissue? It's just not quite tissue. It's um, saran wrap around the muscle. Oh, okay. Um, so like a membrane. It's more of a membrane. I smoke a lot of pork and, and meat and stuff, so I, I yeah. It's okay. the it's the dingly white stuff before the yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, yeah, fascia. Yeah. Uh huh. See, I, I can, folks. I I'm here to relate it to the common man. What can I say? Yes. Okay. So now that gets injured. Yes, um, it, has, really? it has a stronger tensile strength and muscle. Sure. If you take the muscle out, you can still stand. You just can't move. So okay. if your saran wrap is too tight, you're not going to get the range of motion you need. You're going to stop, and something else is going to compensate for it. Now, what can cause that? Life. Just getting old. Um, Abuse. A, wrong shoes. Okay. Wrong dynamics, um, posture. My favorite one is literally somebody who sits at a desk all day. That mm -hmm. can cause it too. Yeah. Um, I, am, I have more physical discomfort sitting down all day behind this microphone than I did for years on my feet. That's, that's dead serious. Because you can only just so many times in a seat. Is that what it is? It is. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, what, what, well, what kind of pain does someone feel? This is this is new to me. This is this is really cool. What kind of pain does someone? Is it just tightness of muscles, the inability to use them. 
it's a catch all. So there really isn't, it's custom to the person. So I got you. some people are like, I can't put my hand above my head. Okay. That's a muscle tightness. I got you. Or it could be a bone structure issue. I can't do anything about that. Right. That's kind of there. That's out of my scope. Yeah. I stay in my lane. No, I'm with you on that. But the other part of it is some people are like, I have pain going up that um, to it. And that can be muscle. It could be fascia. It could be just something that's just catch, catching that shouldn't be catching or compensating that shouldn't be compensating. Now, is it anything like I, I've worked out my whole life, the lactic acid, lactic acid, and you, you hurt the next day. Anything to do with that? Is that does that one affect the other? Okay, so lactic acid. Oh, good. We're getting into cool stuff again. <laughs> I getting, love it. This is awesome. <laughs> folks, <laughs> folks, grab you a drink and some popcorn. We're going to be here a while. So this is awesome. Lactic acid. Basically what it is, lactic acid is built of dead material in your body that the lymphatic or the blood circulation is just getting to. Okay. So it can, it's caused by decay. So when you work out, you do decay your muscles. Right, to you, make, you damage. You damage them. So they grow back. They grow back. Right. They tend to, if you don't do it too much, they grow back stronger. You can't right. overdo it. Right. And, well, you have to give your body what it needs as well. You got to give it nutrition. Hi, hydration, protein. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And, but what I do is make sure that the whole muscle and f- is functioning as best are proper as possible. Gotcha. And the lactic acid is just a byproduct of life. We're going to have right. it no matter what. Um, it's a catch term that most people are like, hey, lactic acid, lactic acid. Yeah, we don't. We think nothing of it, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, lactic it's, acid. It's just decay material that your body has a surplus of, and it's just trying to get rid of it. I got you. That's why we call it lactic acid, though. And yeah, just de- decayed material, no no problem here, you know. that That's a little gross. Yeah. That's why we call it lactic acid. Yes. <laughs> so we skim right over it. <laughs> I'm like, it's decaying material. White blood cells, red blood cells. Hey, a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> lactic like, acid. Hey, wow, in a nutshell. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice. Well, okay, what did we miss? What else do we need to talk about? I'm sorry. I get off on tangents. Oh, I guess. Um, Kansas to Kansas to Houston over a dart game. A very dark game. It's very cool. You didn't just decide to do this. Well, you did, but you, you put in hours and hours of training and education. Oh, even more. I actually came off of law enforcement to jump over to here. Did you really? I did. Nice. Um, I mean, if you see my resume, it's a jack of all trades, and I feel like I'm a round peg and a round hole finally. And Congratulations. This is my... feels good, doesn't it? It does. I know a guy that runs a podcast studio. I don't know who that might yeah, be. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, crazy guy. But he, same thing. I so get you on that. That is awesome. You found what you need to be doing. It blends my love of science and arts. And it sounds like you're pretty good at it. I think I am. Uh, one, one thing I wanted to say earlier, we were talking about how much education you went through and all the hours. It That, to me, shows your dedication. Yeah. You were I, willing to do it. I don't – I do – a lot more than 24 hours a year. Okay, good. I do about 75 to 100 hours of continuing education a year. Those don't carry over, do they? Unfortunately, no. Uh, yeah, I, they I've, don't. I've been there, I know. <laughs> but my goal is to never hurt somebody on that table. And without education, I can't honor that to my guest. Yeah, I, I'm sure that word would get around eventually if you, if you did that too much. So. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. So seriously, what else? What else did we uh, not? What did we, what did I not talk about today? Oh, so there's a brand new thing that I just brought to people. Okay, no, I didn't know about this. No, so. I didn't oh, even put it on. You this. did that on purpose. I You're did. Awesome. So it's called myo, or it's specific frequency microcurrent. The VA is using it. Walter Reed is using it. Okay. The Mayo Clinic is using it, um, and. A few other high hospitals are using it. So what it does is it's a very, very low frequency. It's in the milliamperage. If you know anything like that, it's like a double-A battery between your two fingers. Most people do not yeah. feel it. Yeah, right. And it increases your ATP levels. 
And that's like ATP your, for, for the guy at home. <laughs> ATP of the guy at home. That is the energy cell that creates energy to fix your body. Within your body. Naturally. Right. And they've had great results. It's been around um, before the 1930s. It got put back in a closet because of some people didn't like it. They're scared of it. They didn't know about it. It wasn't scared about it. The um, wonderful government decided to say, hey, we're going to destroy all this. So it was put back in the closet. Oh, wow. And now it's coming back out. It's coming very relevant and a great tool to have. So it, it increases healing? It increases your own body healing. But 500% per minute. Well, that seems impossible. It's documented. How about that? Yeah, it is. It's really cool. By, by just a su- super, super low current running through your body. Well, it's it's a frequency. Right. So it's not a program. It's not a current. It, it is a current. Oh, it is a current. But it depends on what frequency. What your frequency is and what my frequency is True. is going to be different. True, yeah. And there's 999 frequencies that I can choose from. Wow. And most, like I said, most people don't feel it. So it's on a very light side of energy body work. Mm -hmm. So people are like, I don't want pain. This is the thing to go for. And that your body's just mush when I get to that super frequency. Wow. Yeah. So you put electrodes on people or? Um, I usually use the wet towels because. Electricity and wet towels. Yeah. yeah, Lovely. It is. Um, Super low folks. Super, super low. Super, super low. Most, like I said, most people don't feel it. We're talking milliamps, which is like a double A battery. Right. You put it between your fingers when you're putting in that remote battery. You don't feel it, but that current's still going through you. Right. It's still there. It's still there. So you're doing this on location. I'm doing it on location. That's really cool. That is. Now, how do you how do you get most of your 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 guests, your clients? Uh, are you working with with healthcare systems? Are you just networking your tail off? I know I know you're networking. How we met? Um, exactly. It's a combination. I have wonderful guests that refer me out, which is word like, of mouth. Word of mouth cannot beat it. Nope. Um, being present with every client and giving them my best for that day. Right. Um, and I do work with some great healthcare facilities. Um, I have a lot of. Um, Personal trainers, PT people, orthopedics that do refer people to me. Build those relationships. Crazy how it works. Who would have thought? I know. Just sit. You're you're self-employed. You just sit there and people just show up. You know, I'm self-employed. I understand. I I wish. Open the door and people come in. No. Yeah. You never work. You're rich. You take vacations all the time. That's what being self-employed is, right? In my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I really might too. Hart, you are amazing. You are so much fun to hang out with. Uh, how do the folks reach you? Uh, you can reach me online at pmyinjurymassage.com or call 770-884-6566, and I look forward to seeing y'all. And you are located in downtown Houston, the last building before was at Highway 332 that comes into Highway 53. Across the street from Pretty Puddles and Picking. That then I didn't even know that was the name of that, and I can't even say those words. So yes, we'll go with the corner of Highway Fifty Three and Three Thirty Two, and I share the share a parking lot with the Houston PD. Yes, it's it's very hard to miss, folks. Hart, you are awesome. Thank you so much for coming in, and please do not be a stranger. I mean that. I won't. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, there's my music, folks. Thank you again for joining us. Northeast Georgia Business Radio. I'm Tom Sheldon. 